Hazmat 38, Engine 11, Medic 12, Battalion Chief 2, Safety 1, Channel SMS Off 3, Map Page R23, C, at, King Supers, 100, West Littleton Boulevard. Battalion 2, Dispatch on 3. So the King Supers there are going to be at the charging stations for a Nissan Leaf that's smoking. It has since been unplugged from the charger. Owners with the vehicle. Dispatch, you can show Hazmat 38 responding. Dispatch, Rod, thanks. Thank you, copy. Come on, see now. I'll give me a report in just a sec. You copy. 1210. Dispatch, Battalion 2. Battalion 2. Come on, see. We do have a smoking vehicle. No active flame at this time. We'll be investigating. Coming in from smoking vehicle with no active flame. Should be investigating at 1211. Command engine 11, level 1. Yeah, 11, come on scene. Um, it's going to be on the east side of the parking lot along Broadway. 11, if you pull up this row where Medic 12 is, Medic 12, if you can move your vehicle out of the way, there's a plug right up there on the, uh, up the grass so we can use if we need it. Command, that's not 38. 38, go ahead. When you have a chance, if you could just look uh, sub-model for us. The B E V A T V or F E E V. Stand by. Eleven, can you repeat? Batteries and run away. Okay, batteries and run away. Let's go ahead and try and isolate the area as much as possible right now. Anybody in the fumes out of the exhaust right now, make sure you're on air. We got a line for exposure protection only. No water. Hazmat 38, command. 38. Yeah, if you can access from Broadway to the main access to the King Super's parking lot, you should be able to pull past there a little bit, and we're going to need your blanket. Engine 11 responded to a um, electric vehicle fire uh, here at the King Super's parking lot. Um, home or the vehicle owner uh, contacted us after they noticed smoke coming out um, from underneath the vehicle while it was hooked up to a charging station. The property owner uh, uh, disconnected it from the charging station and it, the smoke uh, continued to progress. And safety 2 is approaching the scene from Broadway. Safety 2, command. Go for safety 2. Yeah, safety 2, we're going to have to start working on probably evacuating the strip mall to the south here since the winds are blowing that smoke right in over there. Um, some of the surrounding areas for our response also, we evacuated the strip mall that was close by just uh, as an extra precaution to ensure that uh, they weren't uh, exposed to uh, any of the smoke um, uh, with the wind shifts um, getting into their businesses. Command safety. Safety to you, Fong Command. Hey, firm. The southern strip mall is clear. Met you from Hazmat 38. All right. Will you come up here in front of the vehicle? We're going to utilize your car to pull it out from under the tree. Hazmat 38, do you need water to protect that exposure right now? Well, I mean, it's on scene. You probably just heard it, but the tires are going to start to go. When our crews got on scene, um, uh, they found the vehicle in what we call thermal runaway, which means that um, uh, it's slowly burning from battery cell to battery cell within that electric vehicle. Our current response guideline for um, uh, EV fires like this is to let it burn. Go for asthma 38. Yeah, if you can find that vehicle owner, make contact with them. Just make sure he understands what our plan of action is right now. Guidelines that we've developed uh, in collaboration with the EPA, uh, we found that the uh, runoff by putting water onto these fires the water mixes with the uh, products of combustion, the smoke, and creates more of an environmental impact than it does just letting it burn and letting that smoke go up into the air. We saw a pressurized flame coming out the bottom, which also indicated uh, batteries were on fire. As it progressed, it became a fully involved uh, vehicle fire that, again, we're letting burn. This is our standard response for this. We protected the exposures um, from uh, the trees and the uh, extra charging stations from catching fire. Um, the smoke, uh, we were able to uh, create a perimeter, um, isolate people from getting into that area or driving through that area. But uh, at no point was the uh, uh, community in any danger um, uh, based off of our response. we were out.
out of the battery compartment uh, burning phase, and so we uh, attempted to extinguish it. As soon as they got an initial knock on that fire, uh, pressurized flames started coming out from the bottom, indicating that there was still uh, batteries that were on fire. We utilize a, a mixture of uh, both water and foam. Uh, the foam uh, just acting as that uh, suppression for those vapors, uh, uh, minimizing the uh, water runoff impacts. Thermal runaway uh, is uh, as each of the batteries uh, heat up. Um, in the EV, there's usually a large panel of uh, uh, lithium ion batteries that are all daisy chained together. And so if one is damaged or uh, is exposed to heat, it creates a chain reaction and goes from one battery to the next, which um, at that point, once it's one battery has heated up, it affects the next one in that chain and it continues on that uh, phase, which we saw here today where it kind of slowly stopped and then it progressed again. It was each of those batteries uh, going into that runaway. So right now all the smoke, uh, we have very limited wind out here. So uh, for the most part, the smoke is going directly up into the atmosphere. Again, that's uh, uh, working with EPA. That's their recommendation for these responses is to let it uh, burn off and for that smoke to rise up into the air, into the atmosphere, as opposed to mixing the water, creating uh, more of a toxic uh, environmental hazard with, into the waterways. From here, we're gonna uh, extinguish it shortly. We're almost at the point where uh, it's burnt through all of those batteries. Our uh, crews will uh, finish uh, extinguishing it let it cool, and then uh, our response is to place a, a blanket, um, a specially de designed blanket for these EV fires. For the community that does have EV uh, uh, electric vehicles, um, uh, the biggest thing is just making sure that you're following uh, any recall information from the uh, vehicle's manufacturers. Um, uh, get that checked out as soon as possible. Um, utilize uh, uh, reputable uh, charging stations. Um, and if you do notice any damage of your vehicle, get it checked out right away. Um, also, if you do uh, are charging it and you uh, see that there's smoke coming from it, do just as this property owner did, unplug it from that charging station and uh, uh, back away from uh, that vehicle and call 911. We'll load it up onto a uh, tow truck and then there's uh, special uh, designated tow yards that'll accept these EVs. If it does go back into thermal runaway, it'll protect their property from any further uh, fire. For responding to structure fire, our uh, standard procedures uh, for our bunker gear are to take them to our station extractors, which are specialty machines that will extract any particulates out of the bunker gear. With the products of combustion that are created from uh, these EV fires, a lot more uh, toxins that uh, their bunker gear is exposed to. So uh, with that, um, uh, to get rid of these toxins from our, uh, their bunker gear, uh, we send them off uh, for a uh, specialty cleaning. Um, and they do it uh, cleaning with carbon dioxide and then they test it for H, uh, the bunker gear for HF after um, uh, it's been thoroughly cleaned. So any uh, uh, crew members that had direct exposure to that initial smoke uh, during the firefighting aspects or during the securing of the vehicle, uh, their gear will get bagged up by our logistics so uh, bureau. Um, our logistics will uh, double bag it and then put it in a barrel send it off to the specialty company. Usually takes a week or so for them to go through this thorough cleaning, um, deem whether it's uh, still safe for our uh, members to use. Uh, if it is uh, safe, um, they'll uh, continue with the cleaning process and then return it to those crew members. If they deem for uh, whatever reason that it's no longer safe due to the high exposures from the smoke, then it'll uh, that gear will be condemned at this point. Pigeon 15 is gonna be following the tow truck. Come on, I got Pigeon 15 is gonna follow the tow truck.